In this video, we're going to look at navigating around Ableton. So how you move around in the arrangement setting and also how we use the grid. Okay. So first things first, I'm completely zoomed out right now. So I'm basically as far back looking at my project as I possibly can be. So there's a couple of ways I could zoom in to have a closer look at things. I could place my cursor on the timeline where I want to zoom in on and then I could press the plus button on my keyboard. Okay, so that zoomed me in. If I press it again, it keeps zooming me in closer and closer on that point that I have selected. Cool. And then obviously if I want to zoom out, I can press minus. So that is how I would zoom in and out. There's another way to zoom in and out as well. If you move your cursor up to this gray area between the these the, this bar here and the numbers it turns into a little magnifying glass right so if i click that and i drag down it zooms me in and if i pull up it zooms me out okay so that is how we zoom in and zoom out either the plus and minus buttons or clicking there dragging in dragging out whichever works for you doesn't really matter so much so that is how we move in and out. What about if we want to move sideways? So I can't move sideways right now because this is the maximum, this, this is the entire project I'm looking at. So if I zoom in, I can click on here and then I can drag sideways as well. And then I can move back by dragging whichever direction I want to look in. So um that's how i'd navigate in out and you can actually kind of do both at the same time and this might take you a little bit of time to get used to like how you actually navigate around it's a little bit clumsy in my opinion um i think they could certainly do that a bit better but that is how you zoom in and out and then go side to side so if we need to look here or there and then obviously if we want to move up and down if we have lots and lots of clips at the moment i've only got four but if we have more going all the way down then i can just use the scroll wheel so i can scroll up and down um, so that is how we move in and out and move around and around so the next thing i want to quickly talk about is the grid with an ableton because right now what you can see is you can see all these lines you can see all the numbers at the top so the numbers are representing how many musical bars so at the moment on the screen, we can see 20 musical bars. Um, and then we can see the subdivisions of that. So what we can do is we can right click on the timeline anywhere within the gray areas. Um, actually, you can even right click on there, but not on the clip names. You have to right click somewhere where there's no clip name. And then you can see the uh, the grid options show up here. So these are all of the grid options. So Ableton has an adaptive grid. So what that means is when I zoom in, the uh, grid lines get finer and finer. See how they keep appearing? And then when I zoom out, they disappear. So it's adapting to how closely zoomed in I am, which is quite intelligent because maybe when I want to get really close, I want really fine amounts. And obviously when I zoom out, I want more generous amounts. So I can turn that, I can, I can change the characteristic of that, right? So if I want it, if I, if I zoom all the way out and I right click and I want it to show me the widest, it's going to show me eight bars. So from one, or sorry, even more than that, 16 bars. So from one to the 16th bar, um, if I zoom in slightly, then it starts showing me, there we go. Now that's, um, that's still 16 bars. <laughs> it's not behaving there we go. Now that's showing me eight bars. So um, obviously it changes as we do that. So now it's just wide. It's going to show me four bars. Medium, it's going to give me one bar. And then narrow, it's going to give me even less than that. And then narrowest is going to give me really fine amounts. Okay. So I can basically tell it what to show me, but then I can tell it exactly what to show me no matter whether I'm zoomed in or zoomed out. So I could set it to eight bars and then, oops, sorry, and then zoom all the way in and select an area, it's not even going to let me, because I'm too close. So I'm too far zoomed in to even select an area when it's on 8. If I send it to 4, even then it's too close. Let's set it to 2 bars, too close, 1 bar, there we go. Now I can start selecting stuff. So 
when I'm zoomed all the way out, it's always going to show me one bar. When I zoom all the way in, it's always going to let me select. It's, it's showing me finer increments, but it's only letting me select one bar. Um, and then if obviously if I want to go all the way in and I want to see 30 second notes, no worries, you can do that. And then if I want to turn the grid off altogether, no worries, you can do that too. And then that means that you can place stuff anywhere because Ableton automatically snaps to the grid. So when you're moving an audio sample around, it'll automatically try and snap it into a particular position based on the note notation denomination that you've got it set to. But in this case, you could just move it freely and you could put it wherever you wanted. So that is that. You can also set it to a triplet grid, which is different timing. And then obviously you re-enable the grid and then you can see triplet. Um, that's probably for more advanced users or somebody who already understands music theory very well. But yeah, that is the grid and that is how you navigate. So hopefully you guys get the hang of that. Also, uh, if you start getting a really big project, um, you can actually put your, so there's, there's a couple different places where you put your cursor in order to zoom out or zoom in, but then you can also place your cursor on the very top bar to like select particular areas and you can click that and you can drag along on top of that as well. Okay. And that's just clicking and moving left and right. Sweet. So that is, that should be all of the navigation features um, inside of Ableton. We'll cover more as we go along with it or you'll see how I do it in the future. But that's it for this video. Thanks. Thanks for watching this video. If you'd like to support my channel, consider subscribing on YouTube, following on Facebook. Alternatively, if you'd like to support me financially, jump over onto Patreon and become a patron or donate via PayPal. And don't forget, Starting a new endeavor, such as learning Ableton and electronic music production, can be extremely overwhelming. So take things day by day and believe in yourself. Thank you.